Hello and welcome to NRL News Recap, let's head straight to the news. In light of an impending salary limit crunch, Broncos veteran Corey Oates has expressed his willingness to accept a wage reduction in order to stay at Red Hill. The 28-year-old winger, who reportedly makes $450,000 a year, was shockingly benched for Brisbane's Friday night qualifying final against the Melbourne Storm. Oates has said that Brisbane is, always my place, and that he intends to stay until 2024 despite recent rumors that he was dissatisfied with the Broncos' offer of a pay reduction to stay with the team next year despite interest from rivals like the Knights. When you are an older player and have played here for a sufficient amount of time, those are the things you have to do, cop a wage cut, Oates told News Corp. I've always understood that, but when you want to keep a strong team together, that's how it works. You already know what needs to be done, and in the coming weeks, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, things can be resolved, but for now, I'm just glad to be back playing football. It has been a terrible year for me. He hasn't ruled out leaving Red Hill if a deal can't be worked out, but his decision to renegotiate a new contract rather than exercise a player option for 2024 is a big sign that he's willing to make compromises to stay at the likely title winners. He explained, the way things are now, if you have to move on, you have to move on. But I've been quite clear throughout my career that the Broncos are where I belong. I'm just loving playing back-to-back -back football, but I'll wait and see what happens over the next few weeks. This year, I've been hurt a lot. When Ezra Mam, a talented 5'8", becomes a free agency on November 1st, the Broncos will need to fend off a lot of interest. Mam has a contract with Brisbane that runs through the end of 2024, but after a standout season, he has drawn interest from the Raiders and now the Dolphins. Many people have been startled by Ezra Mam, but the Brisbane Broncos have not. No one believed him to be going. I discussed it with the Broncos, and they are. I spoke to the Broncos about it and they are so confident that he will stay. If you look at it, Corey Oates comes off contract, Kurt Capewell at the end, there's a lot of other players coming off as well. Reynolds isn't going to command the money he's on this year, he only wants one more year. There's a thing in Brisbane called a TPA, third-party agreement. Brisbane are the best at getting third-party deals so you might be on the cap for $200,000 and a company will come along and pay you $200,000 as an ambassador, as well. That's where Brisbane will get around this but they are very confident they will keep. If you like the video, comment below where are you watching, from?